I made a video on this custom previous month called Nameless AOSP. Of course, no name, and yes, it is actually quite good. It was quite good previously, and it is quite good in this time also. Some few of the things have been added, some things have been improved as expected. So this is what we have. The first update, of course, we have it has the main security patch. You get the main security patch based on Android 12 L. You can say Android 12.1, whichever you want to consider about. It's there. And yes, it will not give you major customizations, but some useful things are included everywhere. For example, the default one is Pixel Launcher. So if you want to use other launchers, unfortunately it's Android 12.1, so no major supported launchers yet but maybe we will see the launcher support very soon but if you're able to see the quick settings panel here the quick settings panel seems to be quite interesting it's not by default actually you can use this you can do this thing by moving into settings and i will tell you how you can but this is not by default you can customize this if you want to and this is what it is quite interesting about you can't change other things i mean you can't change the customizations of tiles at how it will be the shape or etc but some things you can customize is good enough if I move on to the settings app, you can see if you're able to see one more thing, I have applied custom fonts, which means you can apply fonts if you want to. If I move on to the battery section, I found sleep mode here. That looks quite good. It might be helpful for the users if you have less battery and you want to stay awake with your device. Here. It's just quite helpful for you. I think so because I haven't tried it out, but I think so. You also have some battery icon edit customizations, but other than else, almost same kind of things available. If I move on to the sound section, we have the per app volume control as expectedly it's there. We also have the screenshot sound and other options includes the adaptive playback. You can even customize the volume steps. You can increase the volume steps if you want to, like this is a magisk module also available. I'll try to make a video on that too. You also have the custom carry label available in this one where you can customize and you can enable this in lock screen and status bar or only lock screen only status bar or you can hide this so that's quite good you also have other options for example the smallest width brightness level whichever you want to customize it's up to you and same like that if let me just disable it let me just hide it once if i move on to the other options charging animation option is there we have the lock screen charging info there and if you want to enable the network speed you can but if you're able to see the status bar, the network speed indicator is show, is showing actually, but the colors are kind of different. So I'm not sure the why. Maybe I need to restart the system UI, etc. But this might be a smaller bug. There are some minor bugs available here and there too. For example, the quick settings panel, oh, sorry, the brightness slider is there, which you can enable or disable at bottom or top if you want to in the quick settings, quick, quick settings, basically. And this is what I was talking about at the starting of the video. We have the quick setting tiles, layout customizations. I've applied the five columns, for example. You can use the one, two, whichever you want to. For example, I just tried, okay, this and this is it. We have this kind of quick settings tiles layout available, which you can customize. So that's quite easy. That's quite helpful for you you can even customize the rows for example the full screen rows customizations this is now at five rows if i try to use the six rows yes you can use up to six rows if you want to so yes this is how it will give you the full screen view of notification panel or quick settings panel so yes something interesting is there as expectedly other options for example in custom homes you have some clock and date customizations almost all the things are available here i also applied the pavlova ui which was expected it's already included which is one of my favorite ones display etc almost same kind of things like security section has a face fingerprint app lock as expectedly all these things are available so i'm not going to talk about these things much here other than else almost same kind of things available here and there the room seems to be good enough decent enough if i'm not wrong you can go and give it a try for sure gestures has a swipe to screenshot has advanced restart and now we have ignore window secure flags which means you'll be able to take screenshots in restricted apps for example the apps which restrict you to take screenshots you'll be able to take that and this is actually quite good and this is also available as a magic model if you want to give it a try ota update and else things are almost same kind of things available here and there these were things i just wanted to let you know about this uh, nameless aosp and the upcoming update we might see some extra features or a specific specific feature hub or maybe like evolution x has the evolver pixel plus ui also has pixelizer if i'm not wrong so there may be a specific section for all those customizations this is just my suggestion but i'll see that 
but other than else it's quite smooth app opening app closing animations are just there so these were things i just want to let you know i hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to like and share this nameless aosp is available for some of the devices link for all of the ones in the description thanks for watching i will see you in the next video goodbye Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through